So this video will be about uh, manage and report on NSX installation status using ESXi command line interface. So uh, the ESX servers has an, a command line interface of course where you can view all different kind of things. Well for the exam it's not really handy to well study everything from top of your head but it's, it's useful to just know where to look right. So for example, uh, for ESXi, you have the ESXi CLI command, you can just hit enter and there you can see the different commands, right? So if I do network, if, if I want to see network stuff, you can just, well, kind of see what the available options are. Uh, for the net VDR command, for example, net VDR, you can do help and there you go, you will get a whole list of command options that you that you can can do but of course it's it's always handy to know how how to use it so um, for example the ESXi you can do a, a lot of things you can for example uh, show you if the statistics are enabled um, the command to do that is vswitch dvs And here you will see it will display level 1, and level 1 means that the statistics are enabled. So you can also disable them by doing uh, then level is 0. Um, I did something wrong here. Level is 0. And then I can do another get to view the level again, and now you see that they are disabled. I can turn it on again and verify if it's on again. So that's one of the things you can do. Uh, you can also show the VXLAN global states. So you do that. With this command here, you can see that the control plane is not out of sync. You can also uh, view the VXLAN switch information on all the DVSs. Um, right now on this machine there's probably only one VDS, so let's try to see. Yeah, here you will see only one. Or well, if you have, have more than one, you can, uh, uh, well, dive deeper in, into it. You can also retrieve the VXLAN network VTAP table for this specific VDS. So The VDS name you saw here already. I will copy paste that. I think I made a mistake in my. No, this is one of the things I'm usually not sure about. Oh, yeah. I also need to specify a VXLAN ID, which I'm going to take the first one. There's nothing much to see here, I guess. Uh, maybe I made a mistake here, but I can... No, that was the command that I needed to have. So there's nothing available here, so let's take another one. Um, let's go, for example, to this host here. And let's do the same command here. It will pull up another VDS, of course. 
because this is part of the compute A and let me try to the only thing that we need to change is compute A and here you will see that I have uh, well, VTAP interfaces available. Well, there are a lot of more uh, ASX CLI commands that you can use, or that that can be done on the on the on the test itself. But it's just important that you know um, what to achieve with what command and what you're trying to look for. Um, most of the commands will always start with ESXi, uh, ESX CLI, ESX CLI network uh, V switch DVS VM where VX LAN. So that's important to know. Um, that's important to know. And you can see the config network, VM, uh, VM, KNIC, stats, get, and list. And those are all available namespaces and commands. So this is uh, something useful. You should at least memorize this. And of course, try to go through a few uh, uh, commands that are always handy to know.